Can you build this shed with no experience? Yes. Do you need special tools to build this shed? No. Can you build it by yourself? Maybe. How long will it take? That depends. It took me about three months. Would buying the installation from Costco for an extra $1,300 be worth it? Yes, but am I glad I did it? Absolutely yes. And should you do it? Yes. That's the end of the quick answers. But let's first talk about what this video is and what it's not. It's not a step-by-step -step instruction video on how to make the shed. There are plenty of those on YouTube already and the instructions are very good. It's not a review of the quality of the shed. The quality is fine. It's good. This video is more about encouragement. For those of you who have never built anything, like me, should you buy this shed? Should you attempt to build this shed? It's challenging, but it's completely worth it. Let's start. I bought this shed from Costco for about $2,700, delivered with no installation. I've never really built anything in my life. I'm somewhat mechanically inclined with fixing basic stuff, basic stuff on cars, but that's about it. The shed came delivered to my house on a large pallet. I had to move the parts by myself from one spot in the driveway to the backyard. And this was a huge task in and of itself. About halfway through just inventorying the shed, I got overwhelmed and discouraged. But I kept repeating to myself, literally, out loud, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Getting the surface level is really important. I spent a lot of time on the foundation. I built a box and made it as level as I could and then filled it in with gravel. If it looks like I'm doing some professional technique here, I'm not. I'm just doing whatever came to mind to try to get the box and the gravel level. Do you need special tools to build this shed? After I got the gravel level, it was time to build. It wasn't too hard. The instructions are very clear and the wood is labeled well enough. I used a hammer that I had laying around the house and some basic tools. I actually used a finishing hammer for the entire build. It was quite stupid. After a while I realized that there is another type of hammer called a framing hammer. The instructions tells you what tools you'll need and you won't need much more than that. A nail gun would have been nice. But I was worried about making mistakes and not being able to get those nails out, so I went with a regular hammer. I went out and bought some knee pads though, and a nail holder that I could attach to my belt. Those both helped a lot. But mostly this was easy. Just measuring to ensure that I had the correct piece of lumber, and then nailing them all together. Can you build it by yourself? I initially said you might be able to build this shed by yourself which is probably true, but I had help and I recommend it. There are some very large pieces when you start nailing them together that are difficult to move around by yourself. Some of the walls standing those up as well as some of the rafters and the plywood that goes on the roof would be very difficult to put up there by yourself, hold in place and nail down. You could probably do it with specialty tools, but it makes it so much easier with just another person. In all, I had two or three people help me for about five hours of the 50 hours-ish that I spent building. How long will it take? 50 hours is a rough estimate. I started in June and ended in mid-September. I have two toddlers and I was working 60 hour weeks at the time at my day job. Um, so I probably spent one full day a week working on the shed. If you can commit more time than that, you could probably speed it up. If I were to do it again, I would probably attempt to block out more time dedicated to the shed building process as it was such an accomplishment to have it done. Would buying the installation for an extra $1,300 be worth it? Being that it took me three months, I was asking myself throughout that time, should I have just bought the version of the shed that came with the installation? It would have only cost an extra $1,300 and it would be done sooner and probably would have been built to a higher quality. On paper, yes, that probably would be a better solution. And if you truly do not have the time, then that $1,300 is a steal for the amount of work that you have to put into it. But, but, once I started getting the trim in place, the doors installed, the windows attached, a switch went off inside me. 
am I glad I did it. I would not have taken the installation for free. I stood back and looked at her. Not even painted yet, but standing. Straight. Level. No huge gaps. She looked good. I really could not believe it. I had done something that will last. Certainly not forever, but it's standing, and it will stand. I still had to caulk the gaps and paint, which would take at least another day, but it was no longer daunting. I had arrived at the top of the mountain, and while I painted her, I enjoyed the view. If you're still watching this, you're wondering, can I do it? Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. It's worth the frustration and it's worth the time. Go do it.